All right, guys, the next property we are going to be studying about is the background property. And first, let us see how to assign a background color to an HTML element. Now, let's say we want to assign a color of mm, light green to our body tag. So within our style tag, we are going to use the body selector. And then within the brackets, to specify a background color, well, it's straightforward. You use the background color property. And we can assign the light green color. So save it. And when you refresh it, the entire body of our HTML document is going to be in light green. And suppose we create another style, let's say for the paragraph tag and give a background color of red and create a paragraph within our body tag. This is in red. And when you save it and reload it, you get a nice little paragraph over here in our body tag, but the background color of this paragraph is going to be in red color and this is going to be overlapped on our body tag. So the red color is going to appear on the light green color. The next, the next thing we have here is a background image property. And that is used to specify an image that is to be used as a background for some element. Now for our body tag, let's say, okay, let me quickly remove this paragraph and paragraph. So for a body tag, let's specify a background image. So a background image is going to be specified using background hyphen image property. And this is going to take an URL and this is going to be where our image is located. Now, in my folder, HTML and CSS, I have the tutorial.html and friends image in the same folder. So I can just specify friends.jpg and when I save it and reload it, it's going to have the image of friends or the friends image displayed across the body. Now, here's the thing though. I, if we have a smaller image, let's say, okay, so I just finished watching the episode of the flash. So I just downloaded an image of the flash. So let's replace friends by the flash dot JPG, save it, reload it. And this is what happens. Whenever we have an image that is smaller in size than the screen, it is going to get repeated both in the X direction and the Y direction. Now to avoid this or to avoid repetition of the image, we can use another property called background repeat. Now what this, what this does is it has three possible values. The first one is repeat X. All right, so what we are going to specify here is that, okay, repeat only in the X direction, that is from left to right. And we can also use the repeat Y, prob repeat Y value to repeat the image only in the Y direction. And finally, we have the value no repeat. Now this is going to use the image or display the image only once and it is going to avoid repetition in the X and Y direction. And finally, to specify or let's say a position, we are going to use the background position property. So we have a background position that let's say we can give 50 pixels from the left and then 100 pixels from the top. And when we save it and reload it, now this image right here is 50 pixels from the left of my screen and then 100 pixels from the top of the screen. So if I say, let's say 500 pixels from the left 
and reload it, it is going to be pushed further to the right. And also, let's say we want our image to be fixed, then we can use a property called background property, background fixed, sorry, a background attachment. And this is going to be taking a value of fixed. Now what this does is, all right, let me quickly add some paragraphs because we need that for the demonstration. So this is, okay, let me just have this is, and then copy it and then create multiple multiple tags let me just copy these again quicker quick work quicker okay save it so what this does is all right we have a paragraph on the left hand side now you see this even though we are scrolling the image is going to be fixed in that particular position it is not going to scroll with the paragraphs and yep so to summarize we have a background image property that we use to specify an image as a background for an HTML element in our case the body we have a background repeat property which is used to either repeat in X or Y directions or not repeat an image at all and we have a background position property which we can use to specify where the image has to be positioned. And we also have a background attachment that says to fix our image on a particular location. And of course, we first saw the background color, which is used to specify a background color for any HTML element. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.